and welcome to the Light and Energy Show with me, Claire Wiles, on the Light and Energy Channel. Today we're going to be looking at boosting the immune system. And I'm here with Sue. Sue, what sort of problems do you suffer with through the winter months? I seem to get one cold after another all the time and I can't seem to shake it off. And that's a real nuisance, isn't it? It affects your daily it life, is, I should yes, think. It does, yes. Okay. Well, hopefully, through the show today, I'll be showing Sue some things that she can do to actually protect her body from all these colds and, and flus. The first place always to start when we're looking at boosting the immune system is actually within the gut. And that's not always the most obvious place that people would think of. Now, you may have heard of something called acidophilus or probiotics mm. and what happens is many people do have very poor gut bacteria so actually by putting the good bacteria into the gut that can really help the immune system straight away so the first thing I always recommend is to actually take a probiotic there's many on the market and you can get them in adults uh, for adults and and children and it's often a good idea to seek the advice of a nutritional therapist if you're not sure which one to take. So we'll have our gut working nice and healthily. And then we're looking at other sorts of supplements that perhaps may help. The first one, again, that I would start with is one that many people have heard of called vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is one that's actually really, really important for boosting the immune system. Vitamin C is actually an anti, what we would call an antioxidant vitamin. Mm. So again, it, that really helps with boosting the immune system and getting rid of all the sort of the rubbish, if you like, that's left from how the yeah. cells function, the toxicity in the body. Do you eat plenty of, of fruit and vegetables, Sue? <coughs> I eat a lot of vegetables. I'm not so good on my fruit, I'm okay. afraid. <laughs> okay. And many people say the same thing as Sue. You know, sometimes through the winter we may have lots of, of lovely things like cabbage and sprouts mm. and carrots with our meals but perhaps not so much fruit, fruit yeah. if you don't eat a lot of fruit sometimes it is a good idea to add in some extra nutrients yes. to boost um, to, to actually boost the levels within the body the thing is with vitamin C is it's water soluble so we can't oh. store it within the body oh. so we have to have a constant supply mm. And if fruit and vegetables have been kept for a long time or vegetables have been cooked for a long time, then often the vitamin C content is lost. Yes. Yeah. A very interesting um, addition to the diet through the winter months would be rose hips. Oh. Now, rose hips were actually used during World War II because the citrus fruits were in poor supply and rose hips contain very, very high levels of vitamin C. And what you'll also see on vitamin C supplements, it will say with bioflavonoids. Now, bioflavonoids are actually phytochemicals that will actually, again, support the immune system. And they help vitamin C to be absorbed by the body. Oh. And you can actually make, go and pick yourself some rose hips yeah. and make it into rose hip syrup. And the show notes for this show that you can download after you've seen the, the seen. You'll be able to download the show notes when you've watched the video and on there I will actually put a recipe for making rose hip syrup from your freshly picked rose hips and it will come out looking something like this and you can have a few teaspoons a day again to help your immune system. Okay. You can also take things like fresh cranberry juice um, in not uh, something perhaps too watered down, no. but something like this one, which is a pure super juice, or even an apple concentrate, again, to get the vitamins and minerals yes. into your body. So do you like dilute that one That's or not? right, yeah. yes, you do. Or, of course, you can have plenty of, of oranges and, mm. and lemons. <laughs> which of course is how vitamin C was first discovered yeah. with the sailors that had scurvy and of course they didn't have the fruit and vegetables to, uh, to get the vitamin C into their body. Then we're going to have a little look at zinc. Is that a mineral that you've heard of? I have heard of it, yes. Yes, yes. yeah. Zinc is also really very good at giving the immune system a bit of a boost through the winter. You can again do that through supplement mm. form or you can eat plenty of things like, for example, pumpkin seeds. Do you want oh. to have a little taste? Oh, yes, have you tried please. pumpkin seeds I have, before? Yes. Yeah. 
And pumpkin seeds you can actually use um, topping vegetables, topping mm. the, you know, the really nice winter warming foods that you might have. You can sprinkle them on your porridge and things Excellent. as well. Excellent, yes. yeah, brilliant yeah. idea, very good. Through the winter it is quite important to eat foods that are warming to the body. Mm. In the summer we may eat things that are grown above ground, like this, more like the salads, but in the winter we're designed to eat the things that grow below ground. So things oh, like so the, nice. the, you know, the potatoes yeah. and the turnips and the carrots and things. So nice mm. stews and you can put pumpkin seeds on the top of there. Something else that contains a lot of zinc is nuts. I've got some hazelnuts here, but any nuts will contain zinc. And again, you can make these into uh, apricot nut and seed gatto that you may have seen on the show previously. Yeah. Um, or you can just eat them as a healthy snack in between meals. Now, garlic. Garlic, do you, can I ask you first, do you eat very much garlic? Yes, I like garlic. Yes. And do you eat it raw or do you eat it cooked? Mm, cooked mainly. Okay. Yes, yeah. Garlic is an, an, what I would call the anti-plant. Antiviral, antibacterial, very good for boosting the immune system. But it's got to be eaten raw in order to have <laughs> that <laughs> effect. So it can be a little bit antisocial. <laughs> But it, you can take a garlic supplement, um, and with that, those are always deodorised so that you don't have the smell of garlic coming out on your breath. Or you can actually chew some parsley after you've eaten a meal with some fresh garlic in. Have you ever heard of echinacea? I think I've heard of it, but I don't really know what it is. Okay. Echinacea is actually a member of the daisy family. Oh. And it's been written about so much in history and very widely researched because of the, um, the absolutely amazing effect on the immune system. And it comes in lots of forms now. You can get echinacea drops, you can get lozenges, you can get throat sprays, all sorts of forms that make it easier for the consumer to choose what they would like to have. Um, and so it, one way you could start is by having a drop of echinacea and it would come in a bottle form and you just put a few drops in some water and you can sip that during the day. And uh, there's been lots of scientific research as well on, on echinacea. You can also get homeopathic remedies as well, um, things like this one here for coughs, colds, chestiness, that sort of thing, that uh, you can take again to promote, the, to promote um, good health within the immune system. So what we've looked at here, just to recap, we've looked at starting with the bowel to promote good health in the bowel, increasing the amount of fruit and vegetables you have in your diet and nice warming foods, natural foods that you can add in, things like the rose hips, the nuts, the pumpkin seeds, and also some supplements that you may want to add in as well. But it's also very important to be drinking lots of water oh, right. to keep the body well yeah. hydrated. If your body isn't well hydrated, then it's very hard to push any sort of virus or bacterial infection out. And also to rest. <coughs> I think with today's modern lifestyle, we're often a little bit reluctant sometimes to rest. Yes. And we need to listen to our bodies and not try to fit everything in. If we've actually got a bad cold mm. or a flu, we need to rest in order for our body to be able to heal yes. itself. And then yeah. you'll recover much, much quicker. Okay, yeah. Yes. So, how do you feel about that, Sue? Have you got some ideas now that you could yes, use? Yes, I have. That's very interesting. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, you know, it's very interesting to know you should start off with your, your gut first and uh, I'll certainly be yeah, looking at some of these supplements and also in, uh, incorporating some nuts and seeds into my diet. I'm sure that will help. Lovely. Great. Thank, thank you very much, thank Sue. You. Thank you, Claire. So, thank you very much for joining me today. All the show notes will be on the website with all the information we've talked about today and, as I say, the recipe for the rose hip syrup. So, thank you very much for joining me today. And enlightened energy, goodbye.